Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Replay Super Mario Sunshine after that marathon episode where we uh, went and uh, got uh, Noki Bay cleared. We're getting ourselves a rocket nozzle, and we are going to head up to Pianta Village, which basically... Rocket nozzle up there, and that's not how you freaking do it, dude. Well, I, at least I got to the other side. Oh, tough. Dude, you're doing this incorrectly. See, what you, what you actually need to do is not suck at the fucking game, and then maybe you might have some success. Oh, thanks for that. Thanks for that, meat wad. Woohoo! Okay. Jump here, and then get here. You can actually get up here without the rocket nozzle, but it it requires some precise wall jumping. It's kind of difficult to do, though I have done it. Just not going to do it for the purposes of this freaking playthrough. Chain Chomplets Unchained. That seems like a creative, a creative name for the freaking place we're going here. Whoosh. I <laughs> landed on the guy. Uh, this scribbled M is gonna bother me if I don't get it right now. That works. Okay, basically what we need to do... ...is keep getting blue coins. That's been the theme of this recording session. Get blue coins. Jesus. Okay, basically what I need to do is cool them down. I'm also going to clean the trail like behind. Oh, it turned around. And basically get these things into the water. There's three of them. And we'll need to get all three of them in the water for us to get a shine. Okay. But basically, I just like to hang out near the spring itself. And any chain chomplets that come by, I can just get them. Right, here's one coming down here right now. Where is it going to go? Because I want to follow it. No! Ugh. Grab the... Grab the tail. Swing it around, and... Hopefully that'll do it. There we go. That was a good shot. Nice shot, Red 2. Okay, where's the third one? The third one is around here somewhere. I guarantee you that. Oh, there's the third one. Basically, it's just going to come down this path. And so, you know, getting to it won't be an issue. And it's going this way. These guys are cooperating! I like that! And it's done! That was easy. And we get the shine up there. And there we go. Yeah he sixty-eight. And we're coming up on the dirty number. Okay, onward to episode two, which I believe is the last of our races with a certain person. Il Piantissimo's crazy climb. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah! We're gonna climb that tree. We gotta go across the level and climb that tree. Okay, let's do this. Okay, the quickest... Oh, Jesus Christ. I pressed the L button a little too much. The quickest way to get up there is to uh, use your crazy belly slide with the freaking water. And then getting up this tree real fast, you can actually dive and, uh, and run upward. And if you're running up on a slope after a slide, you actually go really fast. There's a blue coin up there. And that's seriously gonna bother my ass. Good to get them out now. Good to get those blue coins out of the way now. That means less crap that I have to do uh, in the intervening period when I'm getting a hundred yellow coins. Okay, now to episode three. Episode three is notorious for its difficulty. As you will see. The Goopy Inferno. Yes, you get your flood taken away. So no hover for you for a little while. You have all this crap. Okay, there is a way, and I've seen speedrunners do this. There is a way to, uh, get to flood without having to go through all this bullshit. But it requires some precise jumping. I've only done it, like, once. And I'm liable to die trying it. There's a blue coin right there at the end of, the at the end of this, like, little stream here. I'm just gonna do this the way you're meant to do it. That's to go all the way around up to here. And crash through here. And go on the underside of the village. Where we have enemies that don't want to cooperate. But they are enemies. Being uncooperative should be their nature. Okay, these things. I swear to God, these stupid things. Let's put the camera move in there. Okay, jump away from it. Because it will drop, and if you're on it, it'll take you with it. And then, bam, you're dead. Oh, shit. So watch out for the enemies. Because knocking into an enemy will naturally knock you off the uh, thing. Okay, what we need to do is head over in that direction. So going along these mushrooms on the underside here. Uh, this is always nerve-wracking. It's all bottomless pit below us. You want to be extremely Cautious, okay. I ain't going for that one up. Are you crazy? Dude, zoom out. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, the enemies are cooperating. This is good. And we're out from underneath. Basically, what we have to do is make our jumps. Don't land in the uh, goop. Because it will hurt. It does have uh, fire properties. So, just keep that in mind. And then we have to make a few awkward jumps. And there's our flood up there. 
We got our water backpack back. Let's get rid of this M. There's going to be three coins, three blue coins that we can only get here in episode uh, three. So we're going to take care of all three of those right now before we go for the uh, shine. Here's the second. It's an M under all the crap. I was just going to get this out of my way. I don't need to clean up the whole area. Thank God, that would take forever. Doing it in uh, Serena Beach was enough. And the third one is uh, putting the fire out. Plain fireman. And we're not talking pissing in the wind. There we go. That's the third, okay. Now to get back up and do a thing. We will succeed at winning the mission very soon. Okay, now I gotta make this really awkward jump. You gotta get up there and spin jump from there ain't gonna do it. Ugh. This jump is annoying. There we go, that's what I wanna do, and then hover and turn around. And then get the reward from this guy. And that's episode three. The 70 shines already. Yee! Okay, man, we are doing this really fast. This, this is a fast-paced episode compared to fucking last episode. Going into episode four. Jane Chomp's bath. This one is annoying. It's basically what you have to do is take this chain chomp and take it all the way to the back of the level. This isn't no chain chomp lit, no, this is a full on chain chomp. There. You cooled it off. Oh, it's freaking. Just grab the thing. Grab it! Grab it! Uh. Grabbing the uh, actual chain will have actually have this start moving. It's actually. I think it's actually better for it to start moving. That way you know what the hell. I figured it was going to go that way. Get back here. Okay, now we've cooled it down. Just gotta reel it back. It's not gonna cooperate on the last, like, third of this here. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna wait 
What I'm gonna do is grab one of these water barrels over here. It going? It's on a collision course with me. And just kind of go over this way. And then, okay. Let's figure out where the hell it's going. Going around and around and around. Let's hop it on this path. So where's it gonna go from here? Oh Jesus had to straight for me. Man, how did I miss that? Dude! Okay, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. There we go. We just got it done. Jeez, that took forever. Alright then, well with that... I think I will end the video after saving from getting the shine. Seventy one. All right, then, next time we continue Pianta Village. See you then.